How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. I hope you guys are doing well, by the way. And today, RTTF Road to the Final did drop in Ultimate Team. So we're going to review uh, FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. RTTF, you can see on the screen. Anyway, it's Antoine Griezmann, guys. We're gonna we're gonna review him because I, I looked at the card and I thought, you know what? This card looks like an improvement upon his current cards. I know it's one rating higher, but it still looks like an improvement. And it got me interested in Griezmann because a lot of you have been asking recently, can we see a Griezmann review on the channel? Why not start with the RTTF, boys? It's uh, statistically quite similar to his normal card, but it's an increase enough for me to be interested in using the cards. And if you want to see how the normal card does, We'll check out the, the video on the channel tomorrow. But uh, yeah, this is Griezmann. This is the review. And if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. Click that notification bell as well to stay notified of every single review and piece of content that we do drop on the channel. If you want some foot champs alerts, some RTG content, scroll back earlier to the, the previous review uh, video in general. And that is that. But um, what we're going to do today is kind of take it old school, especially with the gameplay highlights. I'm going to go old school with just the commentary, but you can see me. I can see... Well, I can't see you. Uh, that would be weird, wouldn't it? If I could see each and every single one of you, but you guys can see me anyways. And that is how I would do it. Uh, Griezmann! 5'9". Not bad. Not terrible. Uh, not good. I, I mean... He's got great jump and he wins the headers all the time. He's just very lightweight on this game. His strength isn't that impressive. Medium medium work rates restricts his movement quite a bit. Left foot's all good. Uh, skill was a four star, it's fantastic. Free star weak foot, it hinders the card and it limits the card into what he can do. Uh, on this game, it's not as restricting as, say, FIFA 20. It's not as bad as those titles where the, the weak foot used to be very, very, like, be all and end all, especially with a lot of different cards. Uh, he's got 82 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. That's okay, that's a lot better than his normal cards, which is in the 70s, I believe, but you stick a Hunter on him, lads. He goes into 92 and 91, and that's what we did using the card Hunter. Increase that pace and increase the shooting uh, as a kind of side benefit. He's got 90 attack and position, 89 finishing, 82 shot power, 83 long shots, 88 volleys, and 87 penalties, so his shooting category is stacked. I've got to say, with that left foot, it's so much, so much special. By the way, Newcastle's playing right now, and I've got that in the corner of my eyes, so if I do, like, veer off and, like, look at the screen, it's because I'm watching Newcastle boys already 1-0 down. However, uh, Griezmann, he's passing 87 vision, 85 cross, 87 free kicks, 86 short pass, 84 long pass, and 88 curve. Another stack category right there. And the dribbling is probably the PS to resist on to this card. He's got 92 agility, 84 bounce, 93 reactions, 90 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 90 composure. That doesn't need a boost whatsoever. That is fantastic. 84 head and accuracy, 91 jump. Like I said, he's, he's 5 foot 9, but he's got jumping of Peter Crouch. Well, to that height. Um, two meter Peter. This is two meter uh, Griezmann, boys. Uh, 87 stamina. You can run all game long. With, with the medium and medium work rates, it, it's not going to matter anyways. It, it's, it's just not because he's not going to work himself in the ground. He's not going to be up, down, everywhere. Um, he's not going to play like that. His positioning is going to be key into how he does play. The 90 attack and positioning will be key because his work rates... Don't signify what he can do on the pitch. He's got 64 strength, 74 aggression. Now, his strength is not good. I will tell you straight away, his strength is not good. It's quite restricting. And as you can see by his traits, he's got a plenty of them. He's got them a plenty, boys. Finish, finesse shot. I was going to say finishing shot. That would be fantastic. Uh, finesse shot, flare, outside of foot shots. Sensational. Scroll down is just another speciality. But they are very, very good traits. On in the highlights. With a twist. It's just me. With the voice, and you, with your eyes. Yeah, let's get into those. So when we go into the highlights, lads, you're going to see Griezmann at his full potential. All in for champions as well. This is the first piece of action he actually did for me. Uh, turned inside, on that stronger left foot. A bang, great save by uh, Manuel Neuer in this case. But lads, that left foot's a want. It's an absolute want. Give him a chance on that left foot, he will work the Cooper. However, give him a chance on his right foot, it's a little more ski with. When I say ski with, meaning I don't know what that means, but it means like um, not right. It'll go off. You know what I'm saying? Off target, off uh, off the angles and stuff like that. If you do get a chance with his left foot, always take it, lads. Finesse shots, power shot, chip shot, you name it, go for it with Antoine Griezmann. He is very, very good when it does come down to that. And um, he's a shoot finisher of the ball, a shoot finisher. And that's, that's not uh, every strike on this game. Every strike that you do get a chance, you're not going to finish every single opportunity. That's celebration, by the way. If I come across that in champs, would probably trigger me just a little bit. Uh, with this card, his movement is very restricted due to the medium to medium work rates. However, positioning 
is all important with Antoine Griezmann. And when I say all important, that's literally one of the main things with this card. You get a chance. What was I saying about his finishing? Impeccable. A fantastic finish inside the net there from Antoine Griezmann. I think he went in off the post as well. I don't know what that celebration is, but he's going to pull a hamstring. Uh, medium medium work rates does restrict him, like I did say, but the positioning saves him in a lot of different senses of the word. The finishing, nuts. 89. Uh, with, a, with, a fin with a hunter camp style as well, went up sensationally well. He's passing. Immaculate. You see a pass, you make a pass. Nuts. Makes this card very versatile. You can play him striker. You can play him ram. Cam. Lamb, centre forwards, you guys name it, he could play in a number of different positions. Is that right footed shots? Cannon back off the crossbar. Very unlucky with that strike as well. As Anaki Williams does find Griezmann. Griezmann does well with the fake shot. This is in the last minute of the game, by the way. Win a penalty with Antoine Griezmann. And I'll tell you a story. I went on in the penalties and I lost the penalty shootout. But uh, yeah, we're 4 3 down. This is the 120th minute of the match. Griezmann, how's your nerve? Fantastic into the bottom corner of the net. Uh, yeah, he's good, lads. He's good. It's, it's a nice little celebration as well. I love that celebration in this game. I think that is surf and flex, if you do want to know that celebration. The freestyle week for it's very, very, very limiting. Very limiting. And when I say a limiting, I mean it restricts him into what he can do. Like I said earlier on, it's not the be all and end all on FIFA anymore. You get a chance with his right foot. Sometimes you can score with them, but outside the area, don't shoot with the right foot. Take it on his left. Take it on his stronger. Maximize your potential opportunity to score. And try and get that percentage from maybe like 50%. Up to 80 at least. As he takes a lovely touch there. And the volley into the back of the net. By the way, his ball control. 90. Bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. His agility on the dribble. Sensational. He's very uh, versatile in his dribble. He's very quick-feated. Uh, quick-feated? Fleet-footed. Quick feeded. Never said that before in my life. Uh, he's very fleet footed. So he's very light on his feet and he can take it past numerous, numerous opponents. Nice little back heel there into Antoine Griezmann. Left foot accomplished. Uh, he could go near post or far post. It doesn't matter with Griezmann. Give him a chance. He normally will score. And I know what you're wondering. What's he from like from range? If he does get a chance from range, what do you do? What you do is cut inside on the stronger left foot. That's what you do. Uh, so he will get a chance here. I think he loses the ball on this occasion, but he does get the ball back in space. Lads. Lads, 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 lads. That's so good. That is absolutely fantastic by Anton Griezmann into the back of the net with the finesse. And he can do that at will. At will, but lads, let's get in the summary. So here we go, lads, on into the summary. Newcastle just had a golden chance with a long staff hitter, man. Ah, I thought that was a goal, man. I thought that was a goal, but Griezmann uh, is good on this game. We would have seen the highlights. He scored seven in three games with the one assist. I think the third game was uh, a friendly. Yeah, Basin told me to play the friendlies with this card. And I went into that. Of course, it doesn't count your record or anything like that. But Griezmann, very, very, very impressive. And it reminds me of his normal card somewhat. I had his normal card for one game today or two games today. And uh, what he did too was finish when he got given the chance. And this card is the exact same when it does come down that. If he gets a chance, he's going to score the goal, especially on the stronger left foot. His right foot limits him into what he can do. i said that many times during this reviewer and that is why the free star weak foot's a con and strength is a con as well he's not very strong he's very lightweight i think he's got a um what's it like a, a lean body type or something like that I, I believe it's lean i think it's always been leaner and that means he can easily get pushed over he's not like stocky or anything like that he can get pushed over quite easily but also what that means is very very evasive and agile which is a a good counter act action to what i've literally just said so quick feet is a pro positioning is a pro, his positioning is nigh on perfect. Uh, his, his movement is not good, but the positioning is fine. Uh, shot power's there, the shot power's great. It's 82 in terms of stats, but lads, you can definitely rattle him on this game. Finishing is accomplished, and very, very good. 89, going on plus if you add a chem style. Uh, four star skills to throw in there with this dribbling, uh, and the dribbling itself is absolutely fantastic. All in all, lads, it leads him to an overall rating of a 9.2. That's good, that's good. Uh, if I was to review his normal card, he'd probably get uh, an 8.8, 8.9. So this card is better. In my personal opinion, he's, he's got a better output. He's going to score more chances. Um, and he's, he's just all around a little bit faster than these normal cards. And it's these tiny, 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 tiny measurements which um, separate the, the good players from great players and stuff like that. It, it all depends on body types. It depends on a lot of different varying factors. And Griezmann, he's got a lot going for him. He just does not have... Uh, the weak foot, lads. He doesn't have the weak foot of strength. Uh, in terms of life, he's 8.3. Now, this is a live item. What I mean by that is if Barcelona progress into the next round, he gets an upgrade. If they progress into the next round, he gets another upgrade. If they progress again, he gets another upgrade. If they win the final, he goes to like 
96. This card could be cracked. And right now, it's 650 on the Xbox, 680 on the PlayStation. Uh, that's not a bad price, but I, I wouldn't pay that for the card right now. Uh, potentially in the future, sh should you get like a higher rating or something, I'd definitely do that in uh, due course. But right right now, just just no. Uh, enjoyment, he does get a 9.0. Foot Champs, he would be a start. He played free. Scott Seven. And most of those goals, if not all the goals, came in for champions as well. That friendly was just a write-off, by the way. Um, he got an 8.9 10, and then friendly got a 7.6. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Link's French. He got a perfect link into Usman Dembele. Keep that in mind. Uh, a similar player, I would say Rodrigo. If you want a cheap alternative to uh, an Antoine Griezmann, Rodrigo's kind of your man. Lefty, three-star weak foot, four-star skills. I think Rodrigo is definitely your man in that sense. Uh, in terms of key pro, it will be the speed of dribble. The key con will be the strength. And the best comes down to be Hunter. Takes him to a 91 center forward and left forward, right forward to uh, a 90 striker, 90 cam, and a 90 left winger. Uh, in terms of passing, he's getting eight same for shooting and dribbling with a physical of a six. And lads, it's going to be a review. Lads, if you have enjoyed, you know what to do. You like the video. I've done this during a Newcastle match. I, I, I believe that deserves a like. My commitment is... Psh, Commitment to reviews, more than Newcastle it seems, but uh, Newcastle are currently getting beat 1-0 by Southampton, so that's probably why I decided to do the commentary, but thank you very much for joining me today, hope you had a great day in general, two uploads today, make sure you check out the previous one as well, but thank you very much for checking out this one, if you spent your time to come to click on the video, thank you very, very, very much, lads, I'll we'll have more for you tomorrow, join me then, until then, have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you all next time.